The following segment is sponsored by Northern Nevada Health System. We are here at Northern Nevada Sierra Medical Center for Family 411. It is February, it is Heart Health Month, and we are here with registered nurse Angela Smith. Thank you so much for being here. We're talking about chest pain. Mm -hmm, yeah. So tell us a little bit about what chest pain could feel like if it's something we haven't experienced. Yeah, so chest pain is any pain, whether that's sharp, dull, crampy, constant crushing that is really felt from the neck to the abdomen. And it can be indicative of many problems. You could have a problem with your lungs, with your muscles, with your ribs, with your digestive tract, and even your heart. Um, there is a common misconception that when experiencing chest pain related to a heart attack, that you would feel this elephant sitting on your chest all of a sudden. And while yes, that can happen, um, they can also feel dull, they can feel achy, they can feel like indigestion. So I know people talk about like, oh, I had a heart palpitations. This is different. This is going to feel different than just your little kind of anxious heart flutter. Correct. Yeah, that heart flutter could make you also feel like you're out of breath a little bit. Um, but chest pain related to a heart attack is going to feel a little different. So what are the risk factors when it comes to chest pain? Yeah, there are several diseases um, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, that can significantly increase your risk for heart disease and heart attack. Um, about half of the general population have at least one of those. There's also some um, risk factors that we can't modify as much as we'd like to, like age being one of them. Uh, family history would be another. If we focus on the risk factors that we can modify, like heart, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, by making healthy eating choices, exercise, activity, following medication regimens, uh, following up with primary care doctors, those can significantly decrease your risk factors for heart disease and a heart attack. So when it comes to that, how do you decide if you wait around for an appointment or if you should just go straight to the ER? Yeah, best rule of thumb um, is that if the pain that you're having is constant, if it's severe, if it's associated with nausea, vomiting, changes in your skin color, your heart rate, your blood pressure, yeah, those types of things, you're going to want to seek medical attention. We say in the brain and heart world, time is tissue. So the longer you wait, the more apt you are to have some adverse outcomes on the recovery side. Okay, that is really important to keep in mind if you ever feel like you're experiencing that. Time is tissue. Yes. Angela, thank you so much. If you miss this or you want to watch it again, it's up on our website, foxreno.com. Just search Family 411.